Can one man's quest for polygamy become a catalyst for marital abuse? This isn't just a hypothetical query, it's a reality that many women face. Today we delve into this using the case of Yule Edochie as our lens. This is the question we will explore today using the case of Yule Edochie as our focus. Yule Edochie, a prominent actor, stands at the center of this controversy. Known for his captivating performances and star power, Edochi's fame is now a double-edged sword as he faces serious allegations. Accused of perpetuating marital injustice, Edochi's actions have sparked outrage far beyond his personal sphere. His claim of divine sanction for his polygamous lifestyle is a cause for concern. It's not just about his personal choices, but the potential influence he could exert on his vast fan base. A man of his stature making such claims might mislead those who look up to him, especially those with limited education, into believing that such behavior is acceptable, even divinely approved. The risk? A dangerous precedent of abuse against women potentially leading many down a perilous path of mistreating their wives. But what does this mean for his wife, May, and for women in similar situations? May Yul Edochia, first wife to Yul, is more than a victim, she is a symbol. A symbol of countless women who face the harsh reality of marital injustice, their voices often drowned in the clamor of societal norms and expectations. May's story resonated with women across the globe, not just because of the pain and suffering she endured, but because it brought to light the broader issues of women's rights within marriages. Her struggle was not unique. It was a mirror held up to the world, reflecting the often untold stories of women everywhere who are trapped in the shadows of abusive relationships. May's plight was not merely a personal tragedy, it was a rallying cry for justice. It was a call to arms for women everywhere to stand up, to speak out, and to demand the respect and dignity they deserve. May's story is not just about the abuse she suffered at the hands of her husband, Yule Edochi, it's about the dangerous precedent he was attempting to set. His false claims that God inspired his polygamy could potentially lead countless men, especially those with limited education, down a perilous path of mistreating their wives. The Due Process Advocates, or DPA, didn't just stand idly by, they saw the alarming nature of the situation and knew they had to act. They rallied to May's side, offering her support and protection. Female lawyers from Zimbabwe and Kenya and even male lawyers stood behind May and the DPA. They saw the bigger picture and knew that this was a fight against the unjust treatment of women. They understood that by protecting May, they were protecting women everywhere from the horrors of abusive marriages. But the fight is not over. May's struggle continues, and with it, the struggle of countless women across the globe. Her fight is not just for herself, but for all women who have experienced marital abuse. We must continue to fight for justice, not just for May, but for all women who have ever felt the sting of marital injustice. The outcry has been loud and clear. Women across continents are saying, enough. The case of May Yule Dochie, wife of the acclaimed actor Yule Dochie, is not an isolated incident. It mirrors the struggle of countless women across the globe who wrestle with marital injustice on a daily basis. The advocacy for justice in May's case is a clarion call against such abuse, a unified voice echoing across continents. Women from all walks of life have rallied behind May, their messages and calls inundating the offices of due process advocates. They recognize the shared plight, the shared fight. From the bustling cities of Nigeria to the serene landscapes of Zimbabwe, from the vibrant metropolis of Kenya to the far-reaching corners of the globe, an army of supporters has rallied, insisting on justice for May, for themselves, for all women. Legal professionals have not been silent either. Female lawyers from Zimbabwe and Kenya have been particularly vocal, lending their expertise and support to May's cause. But the fraternity of justice is not limited to women alone. Male lawyers, fathers to daughters, brothers to sisters, have also stood tall against the tide of injustice, echoing the call for fairness and respect. Meanwhile, Yule's dangerous claims have not gone unnoticed. His assertion that God inspired his polygamy is not just a personal belief, but a perilous precedent. As a figure of influence, Yule risks leading men, especially those with limited education, down a path of mistreatment and abuse. The fight for May is also a fight against such harmful narratives. This is why the due process advocate's involvement in this case is critical. 
Their efforts are not just about protecting May and her children from Yule's erratic and threatening behavior, it's about safeguarding women from abusive marriages everywhere, about making a stand against the unjust treatment of women. Justice for May is not just about one woman's fight against abuse, it's about a collective stand against marital injustice. It's about saying enough to the maltreatment of women everywhere. It's about giving voice to the voiceless, strength to the weak, and hope to the hopeless. Justice for May is justice for all women facing such abuse. Yuladochi's actions are not just personal, they have broader implications. This is a stern reminder that the ripple effects of his behavior run far and wide. His false assertion that God inspired his polygamy is not just a personal belief, but a dangerous claim that could potentially influence countless men, especially those with limited education, to follow suit. This could lead them down a perilous path of mistreating their wives, perpetuating harmful behavior. Let's pause for a moment and consider the wider picture. May Yuladochi's plight resonates with women around the world who are facing marital injustice. Her struggle symbolizes the broader issue of women's rights within marriages. Indeed, justice for May is justice for women everywhere, particularly in Africa, where societal norms often reinforce such injustices. The Due Process. Advocates, or DPA, a consortium of justice intervention groups, recognize this. They received messages and calls from women across Africa and beyond, all expressing solidarity with May. On this note, it's heartening to see the support May received from legal professionals. Female lawyers from Zimbabwe and Kenya actively supported her cause, standing up against unjust treatment of women. Even male lawyers with sisters and daughters of their own stood firm with DPA's advocacy. DPA's involvement is crucial in this case. Their aim is not just to bring justice to May, but to protect women from abusive marriages. They took measures to safeguard May and her children considering Yule's erratic and threatening behavior. Their action is a clear statement against the normalization of abuse against women. In summary, DPA stepped in to address the broader implications of Yula Dochi's actions and to advocate for justice. May's case has become a rallying point, a movement for the liberation of all women in abusive relationships. So, we must remember, this is a fight against a dangerous precedent that threatens the rights and safety of women. It's a fight that we all must be part of for the sake of justice, equality, and a world where no woman has to live in fear. What can women do in the face of such threats? In situations like this, it's crucial to arm yourself with knowledge and resources. Education is your first line of defense. Understand what a healthy relationship looks like and recognize the signs of abuse. This could be physical harm, but also emotional or psychological manipulation. Learn about boundaries, the limits that help define who you are in relation to others. Know that you have the right to set and protect these boundaries. Remember, it's not just about knowing the signs of a storm, but also the calm before it. Abusers often display controlling behavior, threats, intimidation, or isolation tactics long before physical harm occurs. Be aware of these red flags and trust your instincts. Believe in your worth. You are deserving of respect, love, and kindness. No one, regardless of their status or influence, has the right to mistreat you. Prioritize your own well-being. It's not selfish, it's necessary. Financial independence is another weapon in your arsenal. If you can, strive to achieve it. Having your own income and resources gives you the power to make decisions without relying on an abusive partner. It provides you with options, a safety net. Document incidents of abuse. Keep a record of dates, details, and any evidence like text messages or photos. This could be crucial if legal action becomes necessary. It's not about planning for the worst, but being prepared for it. In the face of such threats, it's not enough to be passive. Take action. Seek help. There are organizations like DPA that are ready to stand with you to fight for justice. Don't be afraid to reach out. This isn't just about Yuladochi or May Yuladochi. It's about a dangerous precedent, a societal issue that affects women worldwide. It's about standing up to abuse, claiming your rights, and demanding respect. Remember, you have the right to respect, love, and kindness. Stand up for it. The situation of May Yula Dochi serves as a stark reminder. Her struggle is not isolated, but echoes the plight of countless women trapped in abusive relationships. The involvement of due process advocates emphasized the gravity of the situation rallying support from across the globe. Their mission was clear. Justice for May meant justice for all women subjected to marital injustice. Yule's dangerous claims and the subsequent advocacy against his unjust treatment of women 
highlighted the urgent need to stand against marital abuse and polygamy. Let's remember, education, self-worth, financial independence, documentation, and awareness are our strongest weapons. Let's stand together against marital abuse and polygamy. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe and share for more informative content.